Jain master Ekku said, born, born, everything is always born, thinking about it, try not to. Born, born, everything is always born. It means everything is here and everything is appear yet born and everything is here disappears for new birth, newborn. So that's why he is saying born, born, everything is always born. Whatever passion, whatever compassion, whatever desire, whatever wisdom, everything is always born here. And you do not think about it, it's already happening is here, it's already passing through you. So that's why Zen Master Iku Sojan said, born, born, everything always is born. It means each moment you are born, each moment you are dying, you are dying each moment you are born again next moment. Dying and taking new birth, it is a process of the life, it is a process of the existence, it is a process of the nature. Even the Buddha also explained that this thing. Buddha also said everything is impermanent, it means everything is appear for the disappear. Everything is appear and everything is a disappear. Everything is a disappear and everything is a appear. <clears throat> so this is the thing, this is the law of existence. It's called anitya. It's called anicca, impermanent. So that's why Ikku also realized this thing and he said, born, born, everything is always born. Thinking about it, try not to do. You have to think about it, but try not to. But you are never try to do. You are never try to attain this state. If you are the real practitioners of meditations, you have to try it. You have to understand the law of nature. You have to understand the why you are living and where you are going to end. What is your purpose of the life? Why you are living? According to Ikku Sojin, he said, you are living to fulfill your passions. You are living, you have to transform your passion. You are living, everything is here born and everything is die from you. It's nothing, any right or nothing any ownership of you, not even the your body, not even the your mind, not even the outside's property or anything it's. But you think see, you are the owner of your body, but you are not. You don't have any authority because the only, only functional level you have the authority about, about it, but in the spiritual and ultimate level, there is nothing else. You are living in the so organized society. You are living in so organized religion. That's why you cannot feel this thing. And the whole things about the religion, about the Buddhism and about any practice, people are just become habitual. They are practicing, but they are not attending that state of what Buddha has to call it. That is the enlightenment. That is a, a supreme human beings. Nobody are trying. Everybody are just living. Living just like they don't know the one day they will die. They will die soon, but they don't know. They don't think about this. 
if you understand that this uh, sutra this con of uh, zen master iku he said born born everything is always born thinking about it try not to you have to think about it but try not to so you have to understand this <clears throat> what iku want to say to you and you really understand this uh, sentence this sutra you realize the truth truth cannot divide it by spiritually and by materially materialistically because the materialism and spiritualism both are go together and the whole emphasis of ekosojan are like that he not dividing any desire he are not di- dividing any passion and compassion and the good things and the bad things he is the only one the zen master he said everything here for create transformation even the passion also creating the transformation so that's why we have to understand this and those person understand he will come the state of awareness because the basic sutra of any zen master or any practitioner as the awareness as the consciousness everything is a conscious everything do with awakenly then the state of buddha would will come so born born everything is always born and whatever he want to say you it's the state of buddha hood it's already there he do not search outside he do not search in the books you do not search in the lecture you do not search to listen anybody's discourses just do it just emphasize it just practice on that so many masters are saying that practice is the most most important practice is the most important than any other things because without the practice of meditation your behavior in the society is not become good you know the sense you know the sensitivity you know the all the good things inside you and that good things it means the good energy come in your life by the meditation by the zen by the zazen by the vipassana you must practice every kind of meditation the basic thing you have to understand the awareness is the most important than anything and if you want to try you have to try on yourself yourself your body your mind your breathing your spirituality and basically if you understand that this is spirituality then you can understand the whole thing is a breathing and breathing is a born inside and breathing is a going outside it means born inside means the coming inside and going inside from you that is the state the awareness so understand this